Mega Minds 2 was a mega failure, and it might have just destroyed this franchise. Okay, okay, that's enough of that. Hello, loyal viewers. Like me, you probably never thought this day would come. So, fans were pretty surprised when a sequel to Mega Mind was announced. This is Mega Mind vs. the Doom Syndicate, a direct to streaming original that had everything bad going for it you could possibly think of. Visually, it's generic. The animation is stiff and lame, lacking any real personality. A bunch of voice actors from the original movie were replaced. Meanwhile, Mega Mind himself feels like a different character than the one you've seen before. I could go down a general checklist of problems people have with animated movies, and chances are most of them will apply to Mega Mind vs. the Doom Syndicate. Don't just take it from me, take it from the Rotten Tomatoes critic score of 0%? I don't even know what to say, this is just sad. No percent? It's definitely not art, it's barely entertainment, and if anything ever felt like capital P product, this is it. It is intermittently funny and briefly heartwarming, as though they ran the original through the washing machine a few times, and then faxed it. With vaguely established threats and storylines, Megamind vs. the Doom Syndicate is the movie equivalent of meeting a friend you missed for many years only to realize that the encounter didn't really need to happen. If you thought these ratings were the worst part of the movie though, sit down. Megamind 2 led to a brand new streaming series, Megamind Rules! Hello, my biggest fans! Your little fan knees will shake as you worship the splendor! Spoiler alert! Everyone hates it just as much, if not more than the movie. But if this was such a failure, why would DreamWorks release it at all? Wouldn't it make more sense to spend a few years on a genuine sequel and put it out in theaters? Well, no. This is a cheap, made-for-streaming cash grab. Consider it in the same realm as all those direct-to-DVD Disney sequels. They exist solely to cash in on the franchise, but aren't meant to go on the big screen because that would cost too much. At the end of the day, DreamWorks is a business. Putting out low budget trash like this might be a shot to their reputation, but it makes them money. And money makes the world go round. Oh well. What do you think about Megamind 2? Are you gonna torture yourself by watching, or do you not care? Let's talk in the comments. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.